Western Ghats also known as Sayadri Benevolent Mountains is a mountain range that runs parallel to the western coast of the Indian Peninsula, located entirely in India. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the eight hottest hot spots of biological diversity in the world. It is sometimes called the Great Escarpment of India. The range runs north to south along the western edge of the Deccan Plateau, and separates the plateau from a narrow coastal plain, called Konkan, along the Arabian Sea. A total of 39 properties including national parks, wildlife sanctuaries and reserve forests were designated as World Heritage Sites, 20 in Kerala, 10 in Karnataka, 5 in Tamil Nadu and 4 in Maharashtra. The range starts near the Sangad town of Gujarat, south of the Tapti River, and runs approximately 1,600 kilometres through the states of Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu ending at Maranthavas Malai, at Swamithope, near the southern tip of India. These hills cover 160,000 square kilometers, 62,000 square miles, and form the catchment area for complex riverine drainage systems that drain almost 40% of India. The Western Ghats block southwest monsoon winds from reaching the Deccan Plateau. The average elevation is around 1,200 meters, 3,900 feet. The area is one of the world's 10 hottest biodiversity hotspots and has over 7,402 species of flowering plants, 1,814 species of non-flowering plants, 139 mammal species, 508 bird species, 179 amphibian species, 6,000 insect species and 290 freshwater fish species. It is likely that many undiscovered species live in the Western Ghats. At least 325 globally threatened species occur in the Western Ghats. Topic. Geology The western ghats are the mountainous faulted and eroded edge of the Deccan Plateau. Geologic evidence indicates that they were formed during the breakup of the supercontinent of Gondwana some 150 million years ago. Geophysical evidence indicates that the west coast of India came into being somewhere around 100 to 80 MYA after it broke away from Madagascar. After the breakup, the western coast of India would have appeared as an abrupt cliff some 1,000 metres 3, feet in elevation. Basalt is the predominant rock found in the hills reaching a thickness of 3 kilometres 2 miles. Other rock types found are charnakites, granite gneiss, condolites, leptinites, metamorphic gneisses with detached occurrences of crystalline limestone, iron ore, dolerites and anorthosites. Residual laterite and bauxite ores are also found in the southern hills. Topic. Geography The western Ghats extend from the Satpura Range in the north, stretching from Gujarat to Tamil Nadu. It traverses south through the states of Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka and Kerala. Major gaps in the range are the Goa Gap, between the Maharashtra and Karnataka sections, and the Palghat Gap on the Tamil Nadu and Kerala border between the Nilgiri Hills and the Anamalai Hills. The mountains intercept the rain-bearing westerly monsoon winds, and are consequently an area of high rainfall, particularly on their western side. The dense forests also contribute to the precipitation of the area by acting as a substrate for condensation of moist rising orographic winds from the sea, and releasing much of the moisture back into the air via transpiration, allowing it to later condense and fall again as rain. The northern portion of the narrow coastal plain between the Western Ghats and the Arabian Sea is known as the Konkan, the central portion is called Kanara and the southern portion is called Malabar. The foothill region east of the Ghats in Maharashtra is known as Desh, while the eastern foothills of the central Karnataka state is known as Malinadu. The range is known as Sayadri in Maharashtra and Karnataka. The Western Ghats meets the Eastern Ghats at Nilgiris in northwestern Tamil Nadu. Nilgiris connects Biligaranga Hills in southeastern Karnataka with the Shivaroys and Tiryamala Hills. South of the Palghat Gap are the Anamala Hills, located in western Tamil Nadu and Kerala with smaller ranges further south, including the Cardamom Hills, then Aryankavu Pass, Aralvimazi Pass near Kanyakumari. The range is known as Sayan or Sahian in Kerala. In the southern part of the range is Anamudi 2,695 metres 8,842 feet, the highest peak in western Ghats. Peaks 
Western Ghats has many peaks that rise above 2,000 meters, with Anamudi 2,695 meters, 8,842 feet, being the highest peak. Topic: Water bodies. The Western Ghats form one of the four watersheds of India, feeding the perennial rivers of India. The major river systems originating in the Western Ghats are Godavari, Kaveri, Krishna, Thamarapurani and Tungabhadra. The majority of streams draining the Western Ghats join these rivers, and carry large volume of water during the monsoon months. These rivers flow to the east due to the gradient of the land and drain out into the Bay of Bengal. Major tributaries include Kali, Bhadra, Bhavani, Bhima, Malaprabha, Gadaprabha, Hemavathi and Kabini. The Periyar, Bharathapuza, Pamba, Netravati, Sharavathi, Mandovi and Zuari rivers flow westwards towards the western Ghats, draining into the Arabian Sea and are fast moving, owing to the steeper gradient. The rivers have been dammed for hydroelectric and irrigation purposes with major reservoirs spread across the states. The reservoirs are important for their commercial and sport fisheries of rainbow trout, mossier and common carp. There are about 50 major dams along the length of the western Ghats. Most notable of these projects are the Koina in Maharashtra, Linganmaki and Shivanasamudra in Karnataka, Medar and Paikara in Tamil Nadu, Parambakulam, Malampuza and Idukki in Kerala. During the monsoon season, numerous streams fed by incessant rain drain off the mountain sides leading to numerous waterfalls. Major waterfalls include Dudsagar, Unchali, Sathodi, Magad, Haganakal, Jog, Kunchikal, Shivanasamudra, Meenmuti Falls, Atharapilli Falls. Talakaveri is the source of the river Kaveri and the Kadoramuka Range is the source of the Tungabhadra. Western Ghats have several man-made lakes and reservoirs with major lakes at Oti 34 hectares 84 acres in Milgaras, Kodakanal 26 hectares 64 acres and Barajam in Palani Hills, Pukod Lake, Karlad Lake in Wayanad, Vagaman Lake, Devakulam 6 hectares 15 acres and Lechmi 2 hectares 4.9 acres in Idukki, Kerala. Topic: Climate Climate in the Western Ghats varies with altitudinal gradation and distance from the equator. The climate is humid and tropical in the lower reaches tempered by the proximity to the sea. Elevations of 1,500 meters 4,921 feet and above in the north and 2,000 meters 6 feet and above in the south have a more temperate climate. Average annual temperature is around 15 degrees Celsius 59 degrees Fahrenheit. In some parts frost is common, and temperatures touch the freezing point during the winter months. Mean temperature range from 20 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in the south to 24 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in the north. It has also been observed that the coldest periods in the southwestern Ghats coincide with the wettest. During the monsoon season between June and September, the unbroken western Ghats chain acts as a barrier to the moisture-laden clouds. The heavy, eastward-moving rain-bearing clouds are forced to rise and in the process deposit most of their rain on the windward side. Rainfall in this region averages 300 cm 120 in to 400 cm 160 in with localized extremes touching 900 cm 350 in. The eastern region of the western Ghats which lie in the rain shadow, receive far less rainfall of about 100 cm 39 in, resulting in an average rainfall of 250 cm 98 in across regions. The total amount of rain does not depend on the spread of the area with areas in northern Maharashtra receiving heavy rainfall followed by long dry spells, while regions closer to the equator receive less annual rainfall and have rain spells lasting several months in a year. Ecoregions The western Ghats are home to four tropical and subtropical moist broadleaf forest ecoregions, the northwestern Ghats moist deciduous forests, northwestern Ghats montane rain forests, southwestern Ghats moist deciduous forests, and southwestern Ghats montane rain forests. The northern portion of the range is generally drier than the southern portion, and at lower elevations makes up the northwestern Ghats moist deciduous forests ecoregion, with mostly deciduous forests made up predominantly of teak. 
Above 1,000 meters elevation are the cooler and wetter northwestern Ghats montane rain forests, whose evergreen forests are characterized by trees of family Lauraceae. The evergreen forests in Wayanad mark the transition zone between the northern and southern ecologic regions of the western Ghats. The southern ecologic regions are generally wetter and more species rich. At lower elevations are the southwestern Ghats moist deciduous forests, with Cullinia the characteristic tree genus, accompanied by teak, dipterocarps, and other trees. The moist forests transition to the drier South Deccan Plateau dry deciduous forests, which lie in its rain shadow to the east. Above 1,000 meters are the southwestern Ghats montane rain forests, also cooler and wetter than the surrounding lowland forests, and dominated by evergreen trees, although some montane grasslands and stunted forests can be found at the highest elevations. The southwestern Ghats montane rain forests are the most species rich ecologic region in peninsular India. 80% of the flowering plant species of the entire western Ghats range are found in this ecologic region. Topic. Biodiversity protection Historically the Western Ghats were well covered in dense forests that provided wild foods and natural habitats for native tribal people. Its inaccessibility made it difficult for people from the plains to cultivate the land and build settlements. After the arrival of the British in the area, large swathes of territory were cleared for agricultural plantations and timber. The forest in the Western Ghats has been severely fragmented due to human activities, especially clear felling for tea, coffee, and teak plantations during 1860–1950. Species that are rare, endemic and habitat specialists are more adversely affected and tend to be lost faster than other species. Complex and species-rich habitats like the tropical rainforest are much more adversely affected than other habitats. The area is ecologically sensitive to development and was declared an ecological hotspot in 1988 through the efforts of ecologist Norman Myers. The area covers 5% of India's land with 27% of all species of higher plants in India. 4000 of 15000 species are found here and 1800 of these are endemic to the region. The range is home to at least 84 amphibian species, 16 bird species, 7 mammals, and 1,600 flowering plants which are not found elsewhere in the world. The Government of India established many protected areas including two biosphere reserves, 13 national parks to restrict human access, several wildlife sanctuaries to protect specific endangered species and many reserve forests, which are all managed by the forest departments of their respective state to preserve some of the ecoregions still undeveloped. The Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve comprising 5,500 square kilometres 2,100 square miles of the evergreen forests of Nagarahole and deciduous forests of Bandipur in Karnataka, adjoining regions of Wayanad Mukherthi in Kerala and Mudumalai National Park Satyamangalam in Tamil Nadu forms the largest contiguous protected area in the Western Ghats. Silent Valley in Kerala is among the last tracts of virgin tropical evergreen forest in India. In August 2011, the Western Ghats Ecology Expert Panel WGEEP designated the entire Western Ghats as an ecologically sensitive area (ESA) and assigned three levels of ecological sensitivity to its different regions. The Western Ghats Ecology Expert Panel, headed by ecologist Madhav Gadjal, was a committee appointed by the Union Ministry of Environment and Forests to assess the biodiversity and environmental issues of the Western Ghats. Gadjal Committee and its successor Kastorarangan Committee recommended suggestions to protect the Western Ghats. Gadjal report was criticized as being too environment friendly and Kastorarangan report was labeled as being anti environmental. In 2006, India applied to the UNESCO MAB for the Western Ghats to be listed as a protected World Heritage Site. In 2012, the following places are declared as World Heritage Sites Indira Gandhi Wildlife Sanctuary and National Park, Kalakad Mundantharai Tiger Reserve, Thadakad Bird Sanctuary Mudumalai Tiger Reserve Shenderni Wildlife Sanctuary Nayar Wildlife Sanctuary Pepra Wildlife Sanctuary Periyar Tiger Reserve Srivaliputtur Wildlife Sanctuary Aravakulam National Park Grass Hills National Park Karyan Shola National Park Satyamangalam Wildlife Sanctuary Chinnar Wildlife Sanctuary Silent Valley National Park New Amarambalam Reserved Forest 
Mukurthy National Park Pushpagiri Wildlife Sanctuary Brahmagiri Wildlife Sanctuary Talakaveri Wildlife Sanctuary Aralam Wildlife Sanctuary Kudremukh National Park Sumashwara Wildlife Sanctuary Kaz Plateau Koina Wildlife Sanctuary Chandoli National Park Radhanagari Wildlife Sanctuary Parambakulam Wildlife Sanctuary Pambadam Shola National Park Anamudi Shola National Park Chimini Wildlife Sanctuary Pichi Vazani Wildlife Sanctuary Wayanad Wildlife Sanctuary Mathikatan Shola National Park Karinjimala Sanctuary Karampuza National Park Idukki Wildlife Sanctuary Ranapuram National Park Topic. Fauna The Western Ghats are home to thousands of animal species including at least 325 globally threatened species. Topic. Mammals There are at least 139 mammal species. Of the 16 endemic mammals, 13 are threatened and amongst the 32 threatened species include the critically endangered Malabar large spotted civet, the endangered lion-tailed macaque, Nilgiri tar, Bengal tiger and Indian elephants, the vulnerable Indian leopard, Nilgiri langur and gaur. These hill ranges serve as important wildlife corridors and forms an important part of Project Elephant and Project Tiger reserves. The largest population of tigers outside the Sundarbans is in the Western Ghats where there are seven populations with an estimated population size of 336 to 487 individuals occupying 21,435 square kilometers 8,276 square miles forest in three major landscape units spread across Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. The Western Ghats eco-region has the largest Indian elephant population in the wild with an estimated 11,000 individuals across eight distinct populations. The endemic Nilgiri tar which was on the brink of extinction has recovered and has an estimated 3,122 individuals in the wild. The critically endangered endemic Malabar large spotted civet is estimated to number fewer than 250 mature individuals, with no sub-population greater than 50 individuals. About 3,500 lion-tailed macaques live scattered over several areas in the Western Ghats. Reptiles The major population of snake family Europeltidae of the reptile class is restricted to the region. Several endemic reptile genera occur here, including the Kerala cane turtle Vijayacellis sylvatica, lizards like Salia, Ristella, Kesleya, snakes like Melanophidium, Plecturus, Teraturus, Platyplecturus, Xylophus, Rhabdops and so on. Species level endemism is much higher and is common to almost all genera present here. Some enigmatic endemic reptiles include the venomous snakes such as striped coral snake, Malabar pit viper, large-scaled pit viper and horseshoe pit viper. The region has significant population of vulnerable mugger crocodiles. Topic: <inaudible> Amphibians. The amphibians of the Western Ghats are diverse and unique, with more than 80% of the 179 amphibian species being endemic to the rainforests of the mountains. The endangered purple frog was discovered in 2003. Several families of frogs namely of the genera Microxylus, Indorana, Nyctibatrachus are endemic to this region. Endemic genera include the toads Pedostibes, Gautifrin, Xanthophrin and arboreal frogs such as Gautihilus, Mercurana and Bedomyxylus, microlids like Melanobatrachus. Dozens of new frog species were described from the Western Ghats recently. The region is also home to many Sicilian species. Fish As of 2004, 288 freshwater fish species are listed for the Western Ghats, including 35 also known from brackish or marine water. Several new species have been described from the region since then e.g., Dario Europs and S. Shiravathiensis. 
There are 118 endemic species, including 12 genera entirely restricted to the Western Ghats Betadivario, Deella, Horobagris, Horolabiosa, Hypsalobarbus, Indorionectes, Lepidopigopsis, Longishistora, Mesonoimachylus, Parapsilorhynchus, Roti, and Travancoria. There is a higher fish richness in the southern part of the Western Ghats than in the northern, and the highest is in the Chalakudi River, which alone holds 98 species. Other rivers with high species numbers include the Periyar, Bharatapuza, Pamba and Chaliyar, as well as upstream tributaries of the Kaveri, Pambar, Bhavani and Krishna rivers. The most species-rich families are the Cyprinids 72 species, hillstream loaches 34 species, including stone loaches, now regarded a separate family, Bagrid catfishes 19 species, and Sisorid catfishes 12 species. The region is home to several brilliantly colored ornamental fishes like denizens or red line torpedo barb, several species of dakincha barbs, zebra loach, horobagris catfish, dwarf pufferfish and dwarf malabar pufferfish. The rivers are also home to Osteobrama baccarai, and larger species such as the malabar snakehead and malabar mossier. A few are adapted to an underground life, including some Monoptera swampiels, and the catfish Horoglanus and Cryptoglanus. According to the IUCN, 97 freshwater fish species from the Western Ghats were considered threatened in 2011, including 12 critically endangered, 54 endangered, and 31 vulnerable. All but one of these are endemic to the Western Ghats. An additional 26 species from the region are considered data deficient, their status is unclear at present. The primary threats are from habitat loss, but also from over-exploitation and introduced species. Birds There are at least 508 bird species. Most of Karnataka's 500 species of birds are from the Western Ghats region. There are at least 16 species of birds endemic to the western ghats including the endangered rufous-breasted laughingthrush, the vulnerable nilgiri wood pigeon, white-bellied shortwing and broad-tailed grassbird, the near-threatened grey-breasted laughingthrush, black and rufous flycatcher, nilgiri flycatcher, and nilgiri pipit, and the least concern malabar blue-winged parakeet, malabar grey hornbill, white-bellied treepy, grey-headed bulbul, rufous babbler, winod laughingthrush, white-bellied blue flycatcher and the crimson-backed sunbird. Topic. Insects There are roughly 6,000 insect species. Of 334 Western Ghats butterfly species, 316 species have been reported from the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. The Western Ghats is home to 174 species of odonates 107 dragonflies and 67 damselflies, including 69 endemics. Most of the endemic odonate are closely associated with rivers and streams, while the non-endemics typically are generalists. There are several species of leeches found all along the western ghats. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Mollusks. Seasonal rainfall patterns of the western ghats necessitate a period of dormancy for its land snails, resulting in their high abundance and diversity including at least 258 species of gastropods from 57 genera and 24 families. A total of 77 species of freshwater mollusks 52 gastropods and 25 bivalves have been recorded from the western ghats, but the actual number is likely higher. This include 28 endemics. Among the threatened freshwater mollusks are the mussels Pseudomalaria dalii, which is a Gondwanan relict, and the snail Kremnaconcus, which is restricted to the spray zone of waterfalls. According to the IUCN, four species of freshwater mollusks are considered endangered and three are vulnerable. An additional 19 species are considered data deficient. <laughs> Flora Of the 7,402 species of flowering plants occurring in the Western Ghats, 5,588 species are native or indigenous and 376 are exotics naturalized and 1,438 species are cultivated or planted as ornamentals. Among the indigenous species, 2,253 species are endemic to India and of them, 1,273 species are exclusively confined to the Western Ghats. Apart from 593 confirmed subspecies and varieties, 66 species, 5 subspecies and 14 varieties of doubtful occurrence are also reported and therefore amounting 8,080 taxa of flowering plants. 
Topic. See also. Western Ghats portal. Topic. Notes. Topic. References. Topic. External links. Western Ghats, UNESCO World Heritage Site Western Ghats, WWF